Hello everybody, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. See you later, Nikita. Nico. How is everybody today? How is everybody today? I hope you are all good. I hope you are all good. We are back once more with some lovely Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke. We have unfortunately <coughs> lost Azazel and Judas thus far. It is a sad day, but things like that happen. Th th things like that happen. But at the minute, we're just going to be going for whatever max we can get our hands on. Whatever max we can get our hands on. Hopefully we can get a few. And I think it's time that we jump in as Lilith. I do not enjoy Lilith too much on an average run. But she can be pretty good. I did lose Azazel. I did lose Azazel on the last stream. It was unfortunate. Nico, good, just in time because we're playing Lilith today. We are playing Lilith today. Your smell. Hey, Strafe. Wait a minute. I don't, your smell. But anyways, we're going to play a little bit of Lilith today. I thought it'd be fun. Um, and then maybe we'll mix it up and do some challenges. I'll see. We've got quite a few that we can do here. Um, challenges aren't worth as much, but still. Either way, let's jump in onto our Lilith run and just hopefully things go, don't go too badly. But... I have accepted the fact that we are going to lose characters here and there. I need to just internalize the fact that that's going to happen and not worry about it at all. Just accept it as a thing that happens and oh my god, is that a fantastic thing for us to get right off the bat. Holy shit, is Seraphim so insanely good for us right now. Oh my god, Lilith, this is going to be a decent run. This is going to be a decent run. I ain't taking pills because my Azazel run died almost directly because of pills. I got an, uh, a speed, not sorry, speed down. I got a range down. Hey, lovely. And a, um, oh, look at that keeper. I got a range down and a thingy, uh, what's it called? I um, can't remember what it's called now. Range down and a health down. And it's it, it just kind of de deaded the run. So I'm not taking that risk again. We are going to try and buy Buddy in a box here if we can. Even if I have to bomb on Donation Machine because it will make this run slap. I'm hoping that we can get some money out of these poops here. Uh, and maybe a bomb from the room clear just to make sure we can get that 7 cent from the Donation Machine. If you don't always, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. This might be one of the strongest Lilith starts I've ever had. Like ever. Because we're going to get just so much good stuff right now. I'm sorry, Donation Machine. It didn't have to be this way. There you go. We got it already. And we're even going to get enough to buy the Soul Heart as well. Just look at that. What an incredible start to a Lilith run. Holy hell. Oh my god, look at that. Ho, 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 yes. We have three familiars. And they are good familiars on the first floor. And the cool thing about... um. Box of friends with um, Buddy in a box. It gives you a different familiar each time. That is a great item. I do love the ability to have flight. But honestly, I don't think we even bother taking that right now. Now, we could try and do um, a mother unlock on this run. But I don't think this is the character to do it as. I think we just take it as we go. Don't die, tell. Hey, fuck you, never named. <laughs> This is a fantastic Lilith start. Oh my god. This Lilith start is insane. This is insane. Seraphim, buddy in a box. Um, two soul hearts and an eternal heart all on the first two floors so far. What is happening right now? What is happening right now? Yeah, my last run was really, really bad. My, uh, my Azazel run. I definitely could have done a lot to get out of it. Like, I didn't use... Um, I didn't use my uh, thing that you, the coins for damage item. I can't remember what it's called. We didn't use that anywhere near enough. Um, should not have been hit there. Um, but even still, it was still a really, really bad run. 
and I definitely shouldn't have lost it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. What is happening right now? What is happening right now? I'm sorry, Donation Machine, but it has to be done. I'm so mean to you, but we'll pay it back. I promise. We'll pay it back. Oh my god, this is this is quite quite the incredibleness right now. I am I am liking this as a run. This is this is this is the start I needed after last stream. This is the start I needed after last stream. Do not dare take my charges, you. You little motherfucker. It's fine. That's still rather annoying, though. We still got plenty of damage even without, though, so don't worry about it. But there you go. Fire rate is fantastic here. Oh my god, this is just the greatest run. How can one run be so good as Lilith? Normally Lilith runs like scare the bejeebus out of me because I suck as Lilith. But this one, this one's just got the makings of something brilliant. I was really expecting that to give me a crawl space then just because of how lucky this run's been so far. We, we've rarely, we're rarely going to need to use um, so many bombs. Uh, our space bright, unless we get rooms like this. Doesn't even take damage. He doesn't even take damage. Doesn't even phase him. Okay, so first bad item room, it was bound to come. Stop stealing my heckin' charges. Yeah, first bad item room, it was bound to come. Th these are the rooms that I hate Lilith for the most. But this is incredible. Also, Watch Battery. Very, very good. Seraphim's helping out so much. Really? That hit me? Okay. If you want to believe that game, you can. Gosh, damn. I don't really know what our uh, our little cursor buddy's firing, but I appreciate his health. His health? His help. I appreciate his health. Honestly, Seraphim early is so good. The homing shots are just incredible. That's a lot of spiders, sir. If you could not, that'd be great. My lord. Honestly, range up ain't bad. Range up ain't bad. Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really care about anything else on this floor. I told you about the list good. I will not believe you on that. I, I think that is a lie. I will, I will take it that Lilith can be good. But this doesn't happen very often. You don't ever get three familiars on floor one. It just doesn't happen, man. I'd say Lilith is meh at best. Um, kind of like a summer in Terraria, not going to lie. Seraphim deals down a 10 damage best shot. Pretty cracked. My god. My god. And just look at these rooms we're getting as well. Also, this baby is great. I love this baby. Good, good. Oh! Oh, wait, Ghost Pepper. We can't... It doesn't scale with luck, unfortunately, because... Um, oh, no, wait, because it fires out of our body, not out of our baby, so... It does scale with luck. Okay, that's good. Another good item here. Another very good item. I like it, the fire. Give me that chest. Not taking pills, unless I absolutely have to for some reason. Pills are a no-go for me. Whoa, look at this baby! This baby's cool. 
pop in here real quick. Hello, Keeper. Goodbye, Keeper. Give me all that money. Beautiful. Gamer, baby. This is the Gamer, baby. Should we should we test the the luck of this run? If we let's let's see if we can get blood bag from that IV machine in just the health that we have right now. Did get hit there, a bit unfortunate. He is the luckiest man alive. He is the luckiest man alive. I knew it to be true. I knew it to be true. He is the luckiest man in existence. Right, let's uh let's let's call it Holy Mantle in the in the Angel Deal. We'll get Angel Deal this floor, Holy Mantle. Let's just try and try and call the luck how we see it. We did get a soul heart out of this fight, which is great. Angel deal. Damage up. Holy mantle. Incoming. Oh, holy water. Oh, do you know what? Probably shouldn't have activated them both, but hell, whatever. We'll be fine. An amber alert went off on your phone. Oh, God. Hey, cool. We lost a bunch of stuff there. Nice. Let's go. I got I got something with the word holy in it. I'm still saying my look's pretty good. And also, it's a familiar, remember? Holy water is a familiar, so... Even better. This is like one of the luckiest runs I've ever had. <laughs> and I've had some lucky runs. Am is an Amber Alert missing child? Hey, Chakola. What a weird thing for you to walk in on the stream of me saying. We are having... The luckiest run of all time, Shakola. And I, I mean it. This is like the luckiest run of all time. Three familiars on floor one, plus two soul hearts. I called blood bag in one red heart, and I got it in one red heart. We got holy water. We've got a damage up. We got a uh, dead eye. We got uh, the hot pepper. This is just amazing. Why do you need to sell Sh Chakola specifically that you just chat your pants? I don't think Chakola really needs to know. Um, we're definitely going to play this guy. In fact, we should check our shop first before we do. Today I got Legendary Brawler and Brawl Stars. Well done. I don't know what that means, really. I don't know how lucky that is, or how much it costs, or how rare it is, but... Good for you. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, ooh, yes, please. I'll also give back... Actually, no. I was, I was going to give back to the community, but instead I'm going to spend it all. Give me an item, you fruit. I'm the only fruit around here. Mr. Melon Man himself. Come on. Give me, give me, um, double battery. What's it called? Car battery. Three coins for car battery. Easy. Two coins for car battery. Easy. You, you will give me car battery. I'll come back.
Hey, another familiar. <laughs> How many familiars can we get? Holy shit. That's a battery, dude. That's not car battery. That's a battery. So many bombs. Oh, brainworm. Fuck yes. Definitely. Speaking about guppy items. Oh no, guess the tower. Unfortunate. I was speaking about guppy items. The game fortunately was not. Oh! Do a room get an eternal heart. What a what a great reward. What a great reward. Well, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. I missed something that someone said there. Normal legendary brawl deals uh, deal is 15. Low chance. Been playing around two years. All right, okay, nice. Nice, nice. On momento, por favor. Um, okay, it doesn't matter for right, for right now. Okay, Brainworm's going to be great for a dead eye. It's going to be hard for us to miss as many shots, so I like that. Nice. Oh, the screw. I like that. Next floor. Let's go. I do need to do more channel point rewards. You are right. I haven't really delved into that enough. Oh god, might get hit here. Oh, hey, thank you Seth GSR for the subscription. Very welcome for that Prime. I like that a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Another familiar. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many can we get? What is happening right now? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. This is quite nutty. Nuttily, buttily, I think. I quite like this quite a lot. Goddamn brain worm, you're so strong. Oh my god. How is this so strong? This runs absurd, people. What apple, sir? And you get a free skull drawing. <laughs> Skull's like, hey, my lame ain't free. Great room. Lovely design. Very well made. Whoa, look at Sloth. He's looking cool. Duct tape would be great too right now. I have to admit, duct tape would kind of be great. Right, let's keep this trainer going. Shop, what do you hold for us? Jar of flies. Soul heart is most important to me right now. Sadly, this room is horrible. In many ways. Yeah, I knew this room was horrible in many ways. I don't care about y'all pennies. Ooh, I kind of forgot this was Redmum for a moment there. Mm. 
Nice. We got the negative. That's pretty good too. Another tears up. I like it. At max tears now. Little monstro, just another familiar, you know. You know how it be. You know how it be. This is about to get real crazy. This about to get real crazy. Is he dead? What's left? Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get 4.5 volt. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just get it. I'll just get it. Easy. I think my 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 chance to fire blue fires from the, the pepper is increasing for every incubus that I have, you know? This is pretty good. What even is reality? Turtle Melon becomes a god. How do I have this many familiars? This is insane. This is the best Lilith run to ever exist. This new this new boss rush thing in Rebirth is pretty hard, you know. I I got hit by something. I and again. Okay. Something was exploding on me there. I don't really know what. I got a soul heart out of it there. I don't care. Nice. What could possibly be alive right now? Oh, a little haunt. That's what. That was really hard. I had a very difficult time there. I don't know how I ever managed that. <laughs> I don't know how I ever managed that. Turtle Melon being wrong. Indeed, very wrong. I didn't realize how wrong I was. Apparently, it seems to increase the amount of peppers you fire for every familiar that you have. Every uh, incubus that you have, at least. Ah, no bookworm, sadly. But I really can't ask for much more on this run, can I? Hey, it's Yumheart. Why is one of the familiars fish from Nuclear Throne? <laughs> I think it was. I haven't caught up. Who has he lost? I've only lost um, Azazel and Judas so far. Uh, uh, is a bad idea to make a modified spud cannon to shoot candy at children during Halloween. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Lil I still stand by the fact that on an average run, Lilith sucks. This is not an average run. Not even close. This is this is a god Lilith run. This is the Lilith run that everyone dreams of. You should. You should make it. Beautiful. Ooh, a card. Two of hearts. Um... Yeah, I'd rather carry two of hearts, to be honest. Tur <laughs> Turtle, please, you're like the worst source of sound advice, so thanks for the answer. A god run without Sacred Heart, impossible. The dream would just get Tractor Beam. Tractor Beam would be pretty amazing with this run, but I doubt we're getting that at this point. But, have you seen the amount of familiars we have? We have so many. <laughs> And they're all, like, literally all of them are good familiars, too. Like, the worst one that we have right now is Big Fan, and Big Fan's still pretty good.
I'd rate Big Fan like a, a good solid like three out of five. He's not the best, but he's pretty good. Sauce boss. Hey, there you go. We get that as well. Um. Okay, I thought I couldn't get past that then. Ooh, breath of life. No, thank you. I'll take Trinity Shield and be on my way, thanks. <sighs> Big fan is the best familiar I have. Beautiful. We got a pog baby, look. We got a pog baby. <laughs> Oh my god, we got a pog baby. Gotta love the pog baby. Gotta love him. <laughs> Nico, stop. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Get BFF. Yes, I'll just get BFF. I'll just I'll just get it. Easy. Your run would be better if you just got Sacred Heart. What's going on here? Oh, uh, there's one more dude up here. But don't worry, I can shoot round corners. Let's go. Honestly, Dead Eye, Dead Eye is like one of the big carrying things of this run. Like, this run is fantastic even without it, but Dead Eye is really helping so much. Remember to go Delirium for this run. Um, yeah, you're probably right, actually. I probably should. I was going to go and do uh, Mega Satan, but you're probably right. Delirium's probably a better idea. Ow, what the hell hit me then? Those enemies always seem to hit me just like off the bat. I would have liked that key back actually. I will take that key. Thank you. You could do both. I mean, I could do both if I get lucky, but I might as well go delirium and get the guaranteed delirium kill. It's it's kind of it's kind of a, a risky thing. Like, do I get the guaranteed Mega Satan mark, or do I get like, technically, I, in terms of just points, in terms of straight up just points, I I'm better off going Mega Satan because I get to do Hush, Lamb, uh, Satan and Mega, whereas the other one I just get Hush and Delirium. So I think actually Mega Satan is the play. We definitely do Hush, but I think we go Mega Satan and then just hope we get a portal. That's actually really nice. Hush is definitely a thing. Oh no. I used my fucking battery, didn't I? Like a moron. Yes, it has one, thank god. That would have been very, very stupid if that was the case. Star, sad times. I was hoping for a damage up. Baby. <laughs> Give me more babies. <laughs> Sorry, fighting baby. You are pretty cute, but... I don't know what this keeper's doing. He's kind of not feeling so good. Range? Honestly, I'm happy with range. I can deal with range. Let's crank that soldier boy. There you go. Do you know what? I'll pop you. Why not? You're pretty ugly, so you kind of deserve it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, let's just get Arky. Let's just get Arky. 
So, Lodestone plus, um, Lodestone plus the Pepper should carry this fight easily. Like, nothing will be able to hit us. Uh, also, we got Trinity Shield. I also forgot about how insanely good Trinity Shield would be for this fight, too. That's going to be pretty strong. Okay. We got like Ring Baby or something? I don't really know what to call that baby that we've got there. Remember to release the monster shot. You are right. I do forget that constantly. It is a decent source of damage. Especially when Lodestone's procced and they like get sucked in. These two attacks together are balked. You've just got to hope for the best. He's running away. He's going to cry. Look at him. He's going to cry. You're going to cry, little baby? You're going to cry? Incubus unlocked. And we do have the negative right. Down we go. <sighs> Bible track, more time hats. That's, that's actually really good. I don't think it really is necessary for what we've got going on. Oh, these enemies. I'm going to try my hardest to get all available HP options I can, such as doing this. Very worth. In fact, pop this as well, because why not? Get out of here, keepers. Cursed Eye? No, thank you. I will be taking my leave, Cursed Eye, thanks. Oh, I have flight. I forgot about that. There's an Eternal Heart anyways. Doesn't matter. Damn it. It's fine if we don't get anything. Like, we don't need it, but it'd just be nice. It'd help. Uh, what the fuck, Demon Keepers? Oh, it's a mod. It's, um... It's floor-based sins. Unique sins. Basically, every single sin boss has a unique skin for every floor. Three, two, one... It's really cool. It looks... They're visually really, really good. They're really well done. Got him. Got him. Remember to do the lamb. Thank you very much. Nope. Nope. Nope, and nope. Unless I get two soul hearts on the floor, I will not be taking a thingy, a death touch. And also, it means that our thingy... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Our two hearts is more valuable the more red hearts we have, so... Hopefully, we get an item or two here, but we'll see. Hey, my day is going great. Thank you, Axolotl. Thank you very much. My day is going very well. This run is insane, by the way, if you're just tuning in now. Mega Satan got drip. Oh, he did not do the attack I was thinking he was going to do. Look at the sloths. They're all demony. Bob's curse.
Okay, not a fan of this room. Could very much see myself getting hit on this room. A lot of jumpy boys who don't know where many of them are. We're good, we're good. Lamb, where are you? Where is my little lammy, lammy, lammy? Honestly, Brainworm is so good too. Brainworm and Deadeye is such a good combo. I'd like never even considered how good it is. I may have fucked up here. I used my active on this guy. May have been a bad idea. I thought I had more rooms left. I don't actually have that many rooms left. The Lammy Dance. <laughs> hey Turtle, can I suggest a mod? It's called Classic Meatball. Yeah, I've seen that mod. Uh, it looks decent. Okay, as long as these both as long as both these rooms are combat based, we should be fine here. Yeah, yeah, we've got plenty of rooms to go, that's good. Hey, we got an item finally. Hey, bird's eye. More fire. We're not going to take uh, the, the death scythe, we just don't need it. We're just going to go in here. And then we got two of hearts if we panic. If things get bad. I'm really just song that was stuck in my head, something like, Oh God's Lamb, who's vanquished the world's sin. Oh God, I wasn't looking at the screen. Ah, no! <laughs> I was reading chat, why was I reading chat? Bad idea. So much fire. So much fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start. A flame in your heart. I have to admit, good old Mega Satan, I think your time is up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that is great. Having both the fire items in one run. I love that. I just love the fact that the fires destroy shots. Look how strong this is. It's insane. Yeah. Give us delirium, I'll be very happy. If you don't, I'll still be happy. Ah, unfortunate. Still, that is a lot of completion marks. And we unlocked a Polyon. Very, very nice. And the Ultra Hard Challenge. Oh, no, no. Lilith. She got quite a lot of marks that run. <laughs> I need to update my uh, my sheet. I'll do that after the stream. I'm still really bad behind on updating my sheet. Ah, no delirium. Very sad. Black Asswood's challenge is shit. You are right. Ultra hard. Ain't no way. Right, one minute. So many marks. Indeed, indeed. Um. Right. So. What do we reckon to Apollyon next? What do people think? Try Apollyon next. He can be a tricky bastard. But we think I think we could go for him. I think we could try him out. Let's go. We team turtle. Okay, so we do start out with less health, which is a little bit of a problem. And I can't remember, but I think he has slightly lower fire rate than default Isaac. I can never remember exactly. Ah, damn it. Was really, really hoping for uh, 
for virus things, I would have voided it. Please go away. Thank you. Remember, if we get bad items, we can void them. Basically, I, I'm not going to void anything unless it has almost no use to us. If it has even some usage for us, I don't think it's worth voiding. Yeah, you, you are right. If I if I have a really bad run, I can go um I can go to uh I can take the negative but go cathedral so I end the run a little earlier. It's a very good point. Something I hadn't really thought of doing. I'm glad you brought it up. So we start off with Aquarius. I'm gonna z I'm just gonna zoom that. Aquarius is good, but I need something a little better. And Aquarius is good early, but it falls off very quick. And now we did only get speed and luck, which I admittedly is nowhere near as good as Aquarius. Um, He's not getting particularly impressive unlocks, but it's still good to get the marks. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, But yeah, I gotta say, speed is still very good to get early. I feel like a lot of the time, I end up with quite low speed. And voiding's just a gambling game. You just gotta get lucky. Uh... We do have a soul heart in there I'd very much like to buy. Unfortunately, nowhere near as good of a first floor as our last time. If I could ask for anything here, what would I love to see? Uh, Mr. Dolly would be really, really good. I would really like to see a Mr. Dolly here. Uh, possible soul hearts, fire rate, and range. All very valuable things. I think that would help out quite nicely. Staple would also be very, very good. Any hard damage up is going to be nice, but I'm trying to think of something that's a little more realistic, but I, I feel like asking for Staple or Pentagram is just, like, bad. It's bad juju. You can't just ask for damage. Do you know what? The screw is very good. And we got a half soul heart too, which helps a lot. <sighs> Who should I play next chat slash turtle? Um, if you've got the tainted character un unlocks, go with tainted keeper. He's always fun. If you don't have the tainted unlocks, go with Maggie. And play sacrifice room. Hello. <laughs> oh, we're getting hit here, sadly. That little, the, one of the gapers then just did not walk the way he should have walked. You can tell by the way he moves his walk, he's a woman's man. No time to talk. Okay, these guys, these guys can get rid of deal with the devil chance in a, in a flash. So let's just take them out normally. Bait out the shot, run away. Get back in there. Item room, sinus infection is a fantastic item here. Absolutely fantastic item here. Oh, ho, 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 no. Okay, devil deal's gone. At least uh, our normal chance. We can still get one, but not super high chance. That's fine. What is my favorite st song? Probably, um... Wait a minute. Let me get the actual name and uh, and band name. Uh... Star Starlight Brigade by Tupperware Remix Party. Probably my favorite song, I'd have to say. I really like that song a lot. I'm probably going to get hit here again, but just don't get hit by the champion. I'll be happy. Yeah. Very hard rooms at the minute.
Okay, that's good. Nothing there, really. That's a decent trinket. I'll grab that. It's implied that Incubus is a child. Um, so do you think Tainted Lilith came before normal Lilith? I have no idea. Why do we even need to think about the lore of this bullshit? <laughs> Just accept it for what it is. Don't look too deep into it. It's weird. You don't need lore on this bullshit. This is a five-year-old child. Just leave it be. Health and luck, I'm just going to take. We did indeed get our devil deal as well, which is really nice. And we'll head down to the next floor. Um, Not before checking our shop. Why are people got to be weird? Just let a thing be as it is. I'm going to gamble here. Sorry, donation machine. That is nice. I will take that. Um, eh. Sadly, we probably can't get that now. Coupon's pretty nice, though. I like coupon. It's sad that it no longer uses the item upon voiding it. Because we could have got um, one of them items for free then. That would have been nice. <sighs> Guys? We need to chill. <laughs> Did you know Mega Satan is supposed to represent the devil? <laughs> Did you know? Ooh, two books that I do not want to void in the slightest. Thank you, game. If I can get a reroll for those, that'd be great, but I doubt that's happening. Right, so Angel Deal here, I can't imagine, is super likely. Again, just based on the fact that we unfortunately don't have a Soul Heart still. Oh, come on. That's got to be the secret room, right? No. You're not interested, are you? No, you're not interested. Fair enough. Right, let's just let the uh, let the the maggot feet as be babies just chill for a minute, and we'll deal with you. Bait you out, get them some stickies on you. Bait you out, get some stickies on you. And one of you give me a half soul heart or a full soul heart. Either would be good. Why do we keep getting these hard rooms? Okay, so good thing is Booger Tears should handle these guys very well. Bad thing is this is still a hard room nonetheless. Great. Good, good. Check in here. Got to check for the Soul Heart. Good, you're dead. Please give us a few keys here. I'd like to get in there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're cheeky, aren't you, game? What a room this is. What a room this is. You're cheeky, aren't you, game? You're cheeky. <laughs> what a room that is. Oh, my God. Sadly, we are not keeping the angel, uh, the angel deal alive here. These are some hell of a rooms, uh, Edmund. Your cheeky backer. Can I get a key, please? I'd really like a key. A key would suit me nicely. Yeah, purple pill is from a mod. Replaces the orange pills so that you don't accidentally mistake it for a golden pill because they look 
remarkably similar apart from the obvious sparkle, but even still, a, a quick glance, it's so much easier to recognize the Purple Pill. And on top of that, the Purple Pill is canon because it's in the uh, Four Souls card game. So Purple Pill is allowed. In the lore of Isaac, Purple Pill is allowed. Can I stop having to go through all these pointless rooms, please? I have to say, this is quite a quite a meh run, apart from sinus infection right now. Um, we really need to get our angel deal like on the next floor to be in with a good chance here. I keep going to all these rooms that are the wrong way. I'm not taking pills, honestly. Pills after that Azazel run, I I just bowed to this 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 save file that unless I am in a dire situation or on one HP, I will not use pills. They ruined a run. They got a character killed. I'll never trust them again. Pills are bad. I know pills are bad. I've always known pills are bad. Hey, this is nice. Damage up, speed up. I like that both. Quickly dip in here. Ooh, baby. This is quite the spice. That's very nice. Thank you. That gives me a full charge in case I want to void something. I like it. But they're fun. No, they're not. Lies. They're not even fun. Sadly, his jumping will remove any stuck bits. And he will, from time to time, spawn spiders. But as long as we're on top of everything, we should be fine. Beautiful. Nine percent angel deal. Oh, we got it! No way, we got it. That's great. I love it. Just because I've got a uh, sinus infection here, I'm willing to try this. And the circle of protection helps a bunch too. Saves us a bunch of damage. Sadly, Silas Infection shots do fall off after 10 seconds now. That is new. But even still, they do a good amount of damage during that time, so I don't mind. All three of them. I could have avoided them both, but nah. Great on that angel deal, though. Love that. Um, Turtle, I double dog day to install the mod that makes enemies have cat ears. No, thank you. <laughs> angel, let's go. Yeah, that's true. You are very, you are very, very right. If Mega Satan doesn't look plausible, then we can start voiding key piece too. That really, really helped me on a beast room where I got stairway. I could destroy the angel every single stairway and uh, void key piece too. It was great. It was so useful. You got no balls. True. True. I will agree to that statement if it means I don't have to play with weeby cat ears. No thank you. Not my style. Not in my good Christian uh, Banning of Isaac video game. Mega certain fight if you flip your mother upside down like an idiot. Whoa! Is that true? I better try that next time. What is it with this room? Second time I've had this room. Second time I've majorly disliked this room. By the way, Loki, no one fucking really speaks about circular protection. Circular protection is so fucking good. Uh, wait a minute, let me just check this. Oh god, this is this is a this is a room and a half. Holy god damn. That was a room. Did you know if you throw it I will donate? I don't care. Keep your money. I'm not I ain't gonna throw. You can't afford to make me throw. Mm. 
Boom, boom. I love having this amount of speed. I feel like every time I play this character or like certain characters in the game, like Maggie and stuff, you just stay slow all game and it sucks. Like it doesn't actually matter most of the time. It doesn't make combat too much harder, but it just sucks feeling so sluggish. And this really, th having the speed really makes me feel good. Oh, that did not work as planned. It's fine. It, it kind of it kind of ended up working out in the end. Boom boom. Grabbed all those. Still looking for more HP really. Soul hearts would be quite nice. Not really found any. But we found I think we found two but we've lost them both. No, I think actually we only found one. Have we found one or have we found two? Someone remind me. Quince is great. Taking Quince 100%. I feel like Quince is so, so good. You found eight. Yes. You see that cycle of protection saving my life there? It is a little annoying that it can spawn certain familiars that do nothing. But a lot of familiars are really good. Ooh, very nice. Um. Wait a minute. What's happening? No ball. Uh, I have to play Gundam Cock. That's very true. Please throw my family needs food. <laughs> oh yeah, Nika, I, I, I completely agree with Chakola. Please stop. I have told you about this before. <laughs> it it seems to uh, quite badly offend someone in the last stream. So not not specifically that sentence, but something that you said. So please try to chill with the weird th comments because they are a little much. Not everyone is as down with your weirdness. So just calm your face. Um... At this point, yes. Okay, I was going to say, at this point, I think I'm ready to accept that I don't need the HP. I'm for him, but I'm not. It's complicated. I don't think that really is complicated. Oh, ho, ho, the secret room. So good. Same secret room as last time though, and it's only got a pill in it. Big sad. Yeah, nice little damage up there. Considering our health, our red hearts are already at four, I think that's decent. I'm just banking on getting good soul heart health eventually. At the minute, obviously that isn't the case, but... Oh no. Oh no. This is a bad room. Full of nightmares. These enemies are not very good for me. I have a really hard time fighting them. But we got a we got a good a good run against those guys. Those guys. This is a room that we're gonna get hit in. Oh god, that was so close. Okay, we might actually be able to get something going on with these. Here, yeah, let's just do that. Yes, a soul heart. My lord. The Eraser? Do we really care about voiding the Eraser? Like, that doesn't do anything for us. <laughs> it really doesn't. Right. Keep it going. You walk into a red poop, you fool. Good, good. This is only the depths one. We can do the boss straight away. Slightly annoying boss. Let's just get rid of the annoying barrels. Okay, just get a bunch of sinus infection shots on this boy. And we go from there. 
My god, this guy won't let it up. Dude. I tried to shoot those bombs away and it just, it was having none of it. It was having none of it. We're very much like a fire rate up as well now. All the bandages, it's kind of worth avoiding right now. Hmm, this is a tough one. I actually think that uh, Rosary is the best thing for us here. Dead Dove? I don't really think... Yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Rosary. Rosary's a nice uh health up to, to which we've desperately needed. Why did I void there? I used void for some reason, I don't really know why. It's kinda good though, because I would have probably accidentally voided the key piece, and I do actually want the key piece, so it works out. Nico! Please chill. <laughs> You don't have to spam and scream everything that you do. You can type normally. It's fine. I read chat and I just feel like it's quite always dominated by your ch by you spamming things. I know, but it's not It's not as easy for other people to get involved in the conversation if most of the chat is just you spamming things. Ow. That was me reading chat. Fucking spike rocks. There's one of our rosary hearts gone already. Still, I, I stand by my decision because I got my, t my tears up. Exactly, Kingy. Exactly. Backseat gaming is one of the worst things people can do. I don't mind it if it's people just giving advice, but it's like, oh, I hate the decision you just made. It's like, chill. You can hate me if you want for, for avoiding Cube Baby, but I will stand by my decision. Cube Baby isn't that good. I, I do want to avoid, um, I do want to avoid, what's it called? Ball of bandages, though. So if I can manage that, that'd be nice. Oh, really? Really? Can, like, none of these rooms have combat? <laughs> Is it not possible? It's okay, I can do the, I can do the mob trap room to get charges. Turtle, do you like the biscuits your grandma makes? My grandma is dead. <laughs> no, I'm joking, she's not. Uh, but I don't, I don't really talk to my grandma, so she's never made me biscuits in my life. She's not actually dead. I was just memeing. <laughs> Biscuit, shut up. Wait, what's Biscuit talking about? It's from balloons. They copied balloons. Of course they did. Oh, you, you little fucker. No, no, no. I've worked so hard. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I do, I do not agree with you. I think you're wrong. Ooh, that spike rock. Do you know what? Fuck you, spike rock. I'm not even coming in this room again. I just want to bomb it at our principal. Fuck you, spike rock. Good. Hey, fire rate and range. I'm pretty happy with that. Fuck you, Spick Rock. <laughs> Spick Rock. Boom, boom, boom.
Thank you. You almost forgot to say. Oh, also, people, people, people. Just a brief intermission. A brief intermission. Just the briefest of intermissions, people. Please, quickly, well, not quickly, you don't have to, but make sure after the stream to go and take a look at this. The Dead God video is out. We now have Dead God. And fucking look at that thumbnail. Look at that beautiful thumbnail. Oh. Mwah, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. That's why I said no one listened. Oh, did you? Sorry, Skull. I missed it. I hate that you're playing Isaac playing Minecraft instead. That's the last match I see from you. Show off the OG drawings. Do you mean the ones that you sent me over chat? You mean this? Huzzah! He's so big! But I made the skull bigger. I thought it looked better and it looks awesome. It works so well. Look at this bitch. We have conquered. But yes, please go and check out that video when you get the time. I'm very happy with it. The video itself is just the final run that, um, that I streamed. Uh... Uh, do you mean do you mean this one? Yeah, there he is, big. But yeah, um, it's it's just it's an edited version of the final run that I streamed and my reaction to getting Dead God legit like my my legit reaction. I thought it was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy that. So I just wanted to do a quick interlude to let you know that guys, you let you guys know that, that video was out. Anyways, let's jump back into game. I kind of forgot we were in the middle of a room when I did that. Bad time to do it. I just noticed it had gone past half past. And I'm very, very happy with uh, the drawing that Skull did and the composition of that thumbnail. I made the um, the Dead God text myself using the uh, achievement text. I took it out of the achievement. I t tidied it up, enlarged it, and then gave it the Binding of Isaac Repentance logo treatment, which took a little while, but I'm very happy with how it came out. I think it looks really, really good. That's a strange thing to say, Axolotl, but there you go. You've said it now. <laughs> that is a fact. I didn't know that I needed to know, but now I know it. <laughs> I don't care. It's funny. Skull does indeed do the art. Skull Dude is the person that does all of the art. Uh, for my thumbnails. For the majority of the thumbnails. There is a few that he hasn't done, but it's been... They are rare. He doesn't do the Minecraft one or the podcast one. They're the only two. But the podcast, I don't upload that often. And the Minecraft... Oh, I also don't upload that often. I hate this room. Good, good. Good, good. Ooh, extra bomb there as well. I bet item room's gonna be back the way we came, isn't it? Thought that'd be secret room, apparently not. But that shot speed's so high as well, what the hell? We got some shots speeding. Um, I'm going to avoid that as well. Sadly, they're the worst two stats to get, but hey-ho. Range and shot speed. But honestly, hot bombs isn't going to make that much difference to everyone anyways, so I don't mind.
Um, we're getting really bad shops, unfortunately. Let's just try and get a luck upgrade or some extra angel chance. Yeah, we got some extra angel chance. Nice. No luck upgrade. Good amount donated, though. <laughs> I always find it funny when people ask artists, how you draw good? I don't know why, but it's always just a funny, it's a funny thing. Practice. That's, that's literally always going to be the answer. Thank you. Literally every time someone asks, um, like you can ask for drawing tips and what they use to draw. But how they draw good is they practice how to draw good. Like, you can ask Skull. You can you can ask Skull to send you stuff on um, on Discord. From from the first time he made me thumbnails to to the most recent ones, his art has gotten so much better. He was already good, but he he has like he has gone leaps and bounds above what he used to be able to do. His art is so much better than it used to be. Oh, honestly, Pedroff, me too. I, I can't do art to save my life. I, I used to do art when I was younger, but I was never amazing at it. But yeah, I always, I always find it baffling when artists are just, like, incredibly talented. It's like... I know that, like, like I said, you just need to practice to get good at it. Basically, anyone can be good at art if you put the time in, but still. It's still amazing. I want to read chat a minute. I'm glad you sell my soul to Pet Rock Overlord. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That's that's obvious. Uh, well, at least that, that should be obvious. Um, from what Unstable Strafe said there. You've got to practice the... You, you've got to practice the proper... The proper stuff. You can't just draw on your own without knowing what you're doing. And just hope you get better. You've got to, like research online and practice proper methods you, you can't just go at it without knowing but that's the same with any game like how, how do people get better at the binding of isaac they they learn how to play properly they watch other people play they learn what items do like it's the same sort of process if you just keep doing the exact same thing every single run and hoping you get better it ain't gonna work hey thank you very much jedalord 95733 for the follow Nice little damage up there. Good, good. I would say this run is currently not Mega Satan worthy. We, we have okay health, but we need like a really decent angel deal to make this happen. Or like a lot more fire rate and damage. Good up. Keep it going. Um. Oh yeah. So sorry about that, uh, Jade Lord. They, they, them redeeming event things. That's for uh, when we play Noiter. I don't have them in it. I don't like that. They don't work on Isaac. They're only for Noiter. I really should find a way to disable them based on specific games. But I'm a Twitch noob. I have no idea how to do that. So I just have them enabled all the time. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I should really just read out it and find out. Oh, that was a really bad hit. <sighs> this this run, if we get a lot, like a lot more health, is maybe hush viable. Just because we have their uh, bugger tears and that could work out quite nicely. But otherwise, not so much. Oh, God. What is this room? Ah! Fuck me! What is this room? Circle protection, thank you. You saved me, then.
Mr. Fred. Whoa, 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 whoa! He released that guy way too early. Oh, damn. I never realized, like, he hits the very top of the screen with his blood when he does that. That could be voided. Ah, oh, that could be voided too. That's not very good either. This is kind of a shame, really. But that's definitely more voidable. Damage, that's good. COP, oh, circle of protection. Yeah, you are right, definitely. Um, I want to read chat again. You can refund those, right? I can refund them for people, yes. Do not worry. I can refund the points for people. <laughs> Kit Turtle commits cannibalism on the fall animation. <laughs> he does. That is true, Strafe. That is true. <laughs> My god. Oh, c coding is coding is magic. Like, honestly, learning to code was such like it's, it's such a crazy thing. Like, I used to know how to code. <laughs> I haven't coded in like four years now at this point. Um, I I originally did a computer science and games development degree, and I passed that degree. I have a degree in that now. Oh, why do I keep doing this? Um, so I really should like be better at coding. But after university. I decided, hey, coding isn't that fun when you have to do it for a job, so I'm not going to. And then I was like, cool, I could code, it's just a passion thing. And then I tried and realized, hey, university killed my passion for coding. Now I don't want to code at all. <laughs> and just stopped. That's not going to happen to everyone that goes to university and code. But for me, university just helped me realize I didn't want to do any coding as a job. It's a very, very stressful thing to do with work. Have I ever thought about making my own game? As as I just said, based on the fact that um, I, I'm not very good at coding. No. <laughs> based on the fact that I don't want to code. No. Ah, uh, we can't even make hush anyways. We've, we've missed the timer. That's fine, though. This run's kind of just like, whatever. It's not great. I actually think I'm going to go Cathedral and not go to the Lamb. I don't think we're ready. I don't think this run's good enough. Hey, that's pretty nice. I still don't think it's good enough for, for the Lamb. That's still pretty good, though. Second Protection's going to help a lot. I'm guessing you're just redeeming T1 events to use them as, like, message highlights now. <laughs> hey, Smelter. Yeah, we'll go Cathedral. You can trace so many parts of my emotional problems back to it. Wow, really? Honestly... Um, it's not going to always be the case, but like formal, formal education in things that you love can really, really kill your love for it. <laughs> because like, especially for me for coding, I, I really like the idea of coding. I wasn't very good at coding when I went to university, but the, the course said like, you didn't have to be very good at it. You, you, you get, you went in and you learned from, from nothing. Um, so I was like, cool, cool. I'll do that then. I'm really interested. And I think I have like, the brain for it. I think I have, like, I don't know how to say it, but, like, the mindset is probably the best way of saying it. Um, so I was like, 
Cool, yeah. And I did have some really good lecturers. I also had some really not good lecturers. But having things that you have to do on a schedule and, like, have to do for a certain time adds so much pressure to something that you think you enjoy or something that you, you would enjoy. And also, when you're doing coursework, you have to follow very specific specifications. Like, a lot of the creativity, which is big parts of art and coding, get completely stripped. So you kind of lose a lot of the, the big parts of enjoyment of doing it at your own pace and making what you want. So for me, that was just like the big killer. Uh, I always felt really, really stressed because of deadlines, especially when I was do doing a course, um, like a, a module that I was very bad at. Like I was terrible at C++. Uh, C++. I was pretty good at C Sharp, but C++ I was really bad at. And we had a module in it where we had to make an online uh, multiplayer version of Pong. And oh my god, I, I made the Pong, Pong game pretty easily. The Pong game was fine, but networking and making a multiplayer game, holy hell, that killed me. And then in another one, we had to make, um, we had to make a, a graphics engine. That was, that was probably the hardest thing I did in university. We, we basically had, we basically had six months to make a graphics engine from scratch. Like, one that had to, like, render objects and simulate animations. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And I did it, but only just. Like, I I, I passed with, like... I think I was, like... You needed, like, um... 40... I think it was 45 for a pass, and I got, like, 57. I didn't get that much above a pass. As someone who's trying to go into coding, I really hope it's not that hard. I'm sorry to tell you, it will be hard. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. But if you practice and you're naturally talented like at that sort of stuff and you enjoy it enough, still go for it. Don't, don't, don't let my experiences sway you. I would say that for the most part, most people's experiences aren't like mine. Um, a lot of people that, that do university went on to get jobs in coding and were really good at it. I just think that I did it because I liked the idea and I thought I'd be good at it. And I was okay at it, but I didn't end up liking it as much as I thought I would. And that, that made it a lot harder for me. Also, I was a lot more reluctant to do a lot, to do a lot of coding at home. Because I found, I found my, uh, my work at university very stressful. So when I came home, I didn't want to do more practicing of coding because it was very stressful. And therefore, I didn't practice much at home, which means I didn't get much better at it. Which meant I found it harder at university when, we, when, when I went in. So if you practice at home and work hard at it, and you really want to make it work as a job, then that's a bit different. It also, it's, it's also just one of those things as well where if you want to make it work as your job and you know that, you're going to have a different... You're going to have a different um, outlook on, on your education with it and how difficult you find it. I kind of knew after my first year that I didn't want to do it as a job. Uh, I still enjoyed doing the course. I'm still very glad I got the degree because the degree got me the job that I have now. But at the same time, um, it made me realize that I, uh, I didn't want to do it as a job. I still went into the world of coding, that sort of thing. Right. We can squeeze in one more run, I think. One more run. One more run. Um, Eve's not got them in the arcs. Let's try Eve. Eve could be a bit scary, but Tech X makes it a bit less scary. It's, I'm, like, I, I feel like a lot of people are getting, like, the bad, like, the, the worst impression possible from my experience. That's not always the case. I think, I think mine was more rare than most people. Um, like, I'm, I'm not, like, not everyone's just gonna immediately lose their passion for what they want to do in life. Like, I don't think that's as common as people are thinking. That's just what happened to me. 
like plenty of people that I know and I went to university with and like for example my girlfriend she's known what she wanted to do since she started college at 16 and she's doing that job now at 24 that's very nice I would love to get that That shard would be neat. Indeed it would. Oh, shot speed here is kind of annoying, but I do want the, um... Oh, wait. I shouldn't have taken that. I was like, I, would, I do want the Planetarium chance. I don't have Planetariums unlocked. That's, that's fine, Nico. Don't worry about it. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, God. Oh, God. We are taking damage here. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was lucky. That was very close. I'm just going for this. Right, I'm just focusing really hard on not losing my devil deal here. I'm sorry. And we got a soul heart. Range, unfortunately, isn't that useful for us, but hey her. I probably should have gone into the devil deal to see if we could get permanent horror Babylon. But it's fine. Milk? Really? Nice little penny there. Thank you, thank you. All the luck went into Tech X. I think it did, yeah. I'm going to check my Devil Deal if it's still open. It's not. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. I do not mind whatsoever. Beautiful. Oh, these little worms can be annoying. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I really needed a key, and of course it gave me one. It did. But in the worst way possible. What up, Envy? Hey, a soul heart. Thank you. He's firing red beams now. No white beams for this man anymore. Really hoping we get a damage up this floor. Hey, there's that key. Um, Worst thing is it's all, all your fault for destroying those black poops. I know. Apparently, the word black poops is moderated. I don't know why, but... Ooh, hello. Also, look at that animation. Beautiful. I'll definitely take that. Nice little all stats up. Damage is starting to creep up there a little bit. I think I'm accepting the fact that Horror Babylon is a pipe dream. Sadly, nothing that we want there. Hey, nice little look upgrade. Who are we trying to, to beat here? Um, so we want to we just try and go for the lamb and like boss rush and stuff here, really, if we can. Ooh. Now this is a room that I am not a fan of. Okay, we did manage to get two of them. 
Wow. If I didn't have Tech X, that room would have been real rough. Ah, uh, see you later, Pedroff. Thanks for dropping by. Hey, we even got perfection. Nice. We also got Jesus Juice. Nice little damage up there. Not the best, but decent. Decent enough. Oh, sorry. Ah, I see. Yeah, Axolotl. See you later, Axolotl. Yeah, I'm glad Pedroff you're staying by. Sorry to see you go, Axolotl. By the way, Pedroff, how's uh, how's Ipecac coming along? I saw you released Moses as a standalone beta character recently. How's how's all that been going? I'm basically I am I am currently in a period of waiting to play modded uh, Isaac. Is in like content mod wise. I've got a few small content mods, but like playing like Revelation and all that sort of stuff for Repentance. I'm waiting until Ipecac finishes. That's uh, that's my main that's my main uh, mod pack for Isaac that I want to use, and I, I'm waiting for that to become available before I start playing modded rep because I'm. It's just it's a mod that I I feel like I can't properly play modded without it. It's too integral to my uh, to my mod setup. If for those of you that don't know and didn't watch my series before Repentance, I did a series where I played with quite a few uh, content mods, one of them being the uh, Ipecac community mod. Very fantastic mod, and Pedroff in the chat here is one of the main developers on said mod. It's still in development for Repentance with no specific release date in mind, but I'm hopeful, hopeful that it's still coming. The straw? Honestly, the straw's not terrible for us right now. It's a rainbow poop. Half soul heart's not bad here either. Car battery? I don't actually know how well that would work for this, but I'm taking it because I like the item. Um, going to Carlton Moses this, this week. I feel also protected and think most bugs will be gone by the next API patch comes soon. One issue is that custom rooms cause many different crashes until the API updates. Ah, fair enough. Got to go now. Have a good run to... Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Skull. And thank you for the amazing Dead God art, you legend. Holy sh... <laughs> Did you see how much damage uh, Car Battery Straw just did? I've got to imagine that's part of Car Battery doing that. Holy hell. It was so much damage. Right, question. Question. Does Trisag do anything with Tech X? I'm going to check. Isaac. Try. Sagon. I don't think it does. Um, tech. Tech X overwrites. Big sad. Big sad. Right, we'll be taking this then. Why do I keep activating them both at once? It's such a bad idea. Especially while there's fires. Yeah, perfection's gone. Oh my god, I got hit so many times. Like I keep I keep forgetting that if I have two bombs, I can just fight them separately. No one's gonna fucking hound me to the end of the air for fighting them separately. God damn it. I'm stupid. It overwrites it. It is a shame when certain synergies don't work, but hey ho. That's Isaac for you. Sometimes they don't. You can't you can't have the devs do everything. <sighs> Honestly, I'm hoping we get more damage because doesn't straw deal your damage? 
Um, you can't resume modded runs nor get dad's note right now. We've considered uh, posting the current version anyways, but I think this kind of issue would make people not want to play it yet anyways. Yeah, not being able to get dad's note especially is pretty bad. Not being able to continue runs is less of an issue because custom custom rooms as of, as of like just generally don't let you continue runs. Like I'm playing with um, a mod currently called uh, Better Ultra Secret Rooms and apparently that has the same issue. And I'm also currently making a better rare secret rooms mod for myself and that'll have most likely the same issue as well that's an issue that i feel like at the minute can't really be avoided too much but the dad's note one you you can't really have that <laughs> for, like I, at the minute i'm doing random streaks and i probably will be for the foreseeable future when even when i start playing modded and being able to be not being able to do the beast on random streaks feels a bit bad but is, is that like the main hold up with uh with ipecac as of now is that like one of the, the big things in terms of pulling Urbis? A lot of the other stuff said and done sort of thing. Because if so, that's kind of exciting. Boom, boom, bow. Little penny there. I was just about to ask if I'd seen my item room or not. How did I dodge that then? You see that dodge? Oh, goddamn. We're getting some sad, sad items here. Like, Juicy Sack's decent, but, like, give me something with a bit more oomph, please. Why does it do so much damage to bosses, but, like, not to regular enemies? How did that hit me? That's kind of nice. I'll have to check Moses out soon. But, like I said, I kind of want to wait for Ipecac before playing any big content mods including modded characters i want to just do the whole shebang because then i can do like a whole new series i can like sort of brand it as a new series rather than just integrating it randomly slowly and it's also kind of more fun to be able to play with all the new content mods at once and it gives me more time to just do vanilla random streaks too which i do enjoy uh, random streaks are a lot more fun when there's 34 characters rather than um what, what used to be 15. Oh, 10% of max health. Ooh. That helps with that a lot, the tier damage. There you go. Does Eve have, like, a massive damage down in terms of multiplier? I'm guessing she does. Like, 0 0.85 times or something like that. It feels like something around that. I always thought she just had lower damage to start, but it seems like she has a damage multiplier down. Hey, friendly chef, I didn't even realize that was you. I'm sorry. No, thank you. Glass cannon, you're pretty fun, but no, thank you. Do you know, I really would love the smelter right now, I've got to admit. But, honestly... Like, honestly, I don't think it's a great idea. Um, oh, are you kidding me? Because it can just get you hurt so much. And also, it doesn't really do anything with Tech X. It doesn't spawn a big old tech x ring or anything is this necro 2 so i think we i think we're good to go 
We're, of course, going to get the negative here as well, which is another damage up. Oh, my God. I'm taking some really bad damage right now. I think we're fine to do boss rush, to be honest, though. Because the straw will spawn health for us. And also, the straw is just going to be very good damage. And we got an angel deal, which could help. No. No, it couldn't. Because we got dead fucking sea scrolls. And we could just get magic mush, you know? That could help quite a lot. Oh, it's Husk. I was wondering what the hell the boss that was spewing everything was. Good. Uh, Juicy Sack is also doing. Um, she doesn't. Um, Juicy Sack is also doing a really good job of spawning spiders for us here. And with the big damage up we just got from uh, Magic Mush, great to see. But yeah, we should be getting random half heart spawning from the straw. I think it's enemies that are killed by it have like a 25% chance to give us a half heart. If someone could verify exactly how the half heart spawns, I'm probably way off with my assumption, but if someone could verify exactly how they spawn, that'd be nice. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, gotta admit. I'm gonna say, I really should pay attention to Haunt, to be honest. Haunt's kind of more deadly. Hey, it's Rogue Luke. I heard a rumor that I'm bad at Isaac. Well, I heard a rumor that you've got my name. Give it back. My name. Yeah, honestly, I'm really liking the straw combo we've got going on right now. Straw is an item that I underrate. Honestly, it is. It can be so strong. I mean, obviously, car battery right now is what's making it so good. But even still, I did not realize that this guy fired his brimstone at any minions. He just killed all the little dips that that dude spawned. Hello. War. What are you good for? Fucking absolutely nothing. Ah! Holla! Excuse me. Excuse me, I said. Stop. Oh god, I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff right now. It's okay. It was, like I said, we're spawning hearts reasonably often, so there should be some about. I think there's only one half heart about, actually. And it's on top of spikes, too. Real good stuff. <laughs> there can be only one. There's a half heart. Thank you. Ooh, the stain. My favorite boss. I like it when he telefrags. Ooh, it's bloat too. It's a party now. Oh, that's a lot of half hearts. It's definitely on kill that you get the half hearts. Eve's Mascara, thank you. Oh, we're just getting the best items ever at the minute, aren't we? Just the best items ever. We go down. This has been a rather speedy run. Oh, look at that. 
honestly, uh, Magic Mush might have made it so that uh, this this bad boy can kill a lot of enemies in a single go. Twenty percent of the enemy's HP plus eight point eight six damage is a good amount. Actually, it'd be plus sixteen damage because of the uh, double. That's quite a lot of damage. It's not on kill, I said. Uh, okay. Thank you, Chakola. I'm just dumb as all. This is a room that I hate. <laughs> Thank God I have Tech X. No, thank you, Lardass. I will not be buying what you're selling today. And... Kaboom! Conquest. I am kind of tempted to take the, uh, the, the pony here for the flight. But honestly, I really like this setup. I'm sorry, Pony. You are quite good, but the straw is just too good. It's very fun. It just weakens everything up before I actually have to shoot it. Which is really good, because Tech X can sometimes not quite do the damage you want with the new Repentance version. Excuse me, says. Good, good. I like getting like a single tech X shot out and then using it. Oh, I knew that was going to hit me then. That's fine. Whatever. We'll get some red hearts eventually. Oh, God damn it. Thank you for popping up and not being a nuisance. Give me some red hearts, game. You know what I need? Where are these red hearts at? Where are these red hearts at? Baby, where are they at? Where are they at? I'm not getting any right now. I don't really know why. Okay, please kill all of those in one go. It didn't quite, but it did a good enough job. Yeah. I, I want my hearts. The ponies are really good items, but you either have to get them late in the game with no good actives or very early in the game. Half a heart and a full heart. Yay. Wow. Three skill Monty at this hour? A full heal at this hour? Might as well go to our cash room. Uh, yes, they do. Oh. Well worth. Well worth. Thank you. It's weird how sometimes mum just, mother's heart just decides not to spawn the, the second two laser eyes. I don't know what that's about. Oh, how possible do we think Hush is? Does question does the straw do 20 percent of hush's health with this setup <laughs> there's no way right there's no way
I am kind of afraid I'll die to Hush too. We don't have a ton of damage. It is kind of scary. We're not going in with tons of health either. Everyone's saying try. I'm a bit scared, but we're going to do it. You get a soul heart, which is great. Hopefully a card. Ah, I was really hoping that would give us some damage. We've got two speeds, so I think we take that. The heart container is going to be very valuable. We do need a trinket. Could be something good. That's actually pretty decent. I'll take that. I'm not going to go mad with this, but I will try and find it. Yeah, got it. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh. That's so good. What a find. What a find. Oh, the hero font. <laughs> An eternal heart too from the fire. Well, this was good. <laughs> Yeah, Mysterious Liquid is going to be so good. It places just a ton of creep under him every time we hit him. Like, look how much damage that's doing. Also, remember, we are going to get some random red hearts from when we, um... From when we use this. Honestly, it does, like, a good percentage of his health. Like, we got two red hearts off the bat there. But, like, that does a decent percent of his health. Like, that's doing, like, a good, like, 2% of his health each usage. Which is really, really good, considering. Yeah, that's a huge chunk. Just re yeah, just remember to spam it. Good idea. Oh, no. To be fair, that's fine. We got a 1.8 damage up. And we got the fire rate up from milk. That's actually pretty helpful. Another red heart. Great. Just stand in the right spot and we'll be fine. Just gotta wait until he pops up because I don't know if we can damage him with it with his underground. It does so much damage. It's kind of insane how much damage it does. Okay, get back into position. Nope, not quite in the right position there. Whoopsie. Damn it, I used it while he was underground. He popped under right as I used it. I don't think it did damage. Okay, keep her going. Nice, we skipped over the final phase. Awesome. A fame, easy, and we're on the dark path, aren't we? Let's go. That was so clutch. Probably only small than 10% because of boss armor. Probably right.
Anything that walks is going to get wrecked. I don't know if Mysterious Liquid Damage scales with anything, but even if it doesn't, it's still really high. Boom. <laughs> that was pretty awesome to watch. Don't have a bomb, unfortunately, so we can't do the tactic. I think that's the first time I've ever got to this guy and not had a bomb. Didn't really matter, though. These guys do fly, so we do lose out on a little bit of damage against those. Ooh, he did that attack. That's a rare one. Oh, God. He is wrecking me right now. <laughs> There's a lot of health, then. Okay, we're good. Dark boom. Basically, this is great for later, but I am, of course, going to do lamb first. Uh, Guppy's paw could be great for later, but otherwise, we don't need it. Good, good. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming, but don't worry. We got that. That got me. Again, the boom boom. Oh, God. Why are keepers? Keepers are like a really hard boss for me. I don't know why, but I find, I find their attack patterns really awkward. Got you both. Got him. Oh, you tricky bastard. You tricky bastard. Oh, this is a horrible room. Oh, that's some chunky damage on the lamb there. Okay, now I think I can hit both halves of him as well, so even better. Good, uh... Right. Mega Satan? What mod's are you using for the doors? It's one of the most popular mods in the workshop. I don't remember the name of it. I think it's called Repentance Better Doors. Uh, literally just go onto the mod workshop and look at the highest rated mods of all time. It's like number four on one of the highest rated mods of all time. Intriguing. Would love to get some invincibility for that. Imagine accidentally doing a victory lap and dying. Oh my god. That would be so sad.
Oh, dude. Took my soul heart from me, bro. That's not cool. The moon? I guess we'll use that. Okay. That's good. That is not so good. Um, I don't think this run is strong enough for Mega Satan, that's just me. I honestly don't either. I'm basically just playing the rest of the floor out because we have uh, Guppy's Paw, which essentially means that we can play out the full floor, lose as much health as we want. As long as we don't die, we can test out sort of theories on... Um, really? That hit me? You're kidding? On items that we could get if we get like an item that could be really, really good and help us with Mega Satan. I could have saved it on the off chance things go sour against Mega Satan. Oh, for the, for the moon card, you mean. Very true. I probably should have done that, you're right. Taurus? What an item. Yeah, the thing is, you got to remember, Mysterious Liquid isn't going to work against uh, Mega Satan. Mysterious Liquid is a big portion of our damage right now. Like, that Hush Fight won wouldn't have gone quite so easily if it wasn't for the uh, Mysterious Liquid pickup. Yeah, we're just going to leave. This isn't, this isn't good. This is not a Mega Satan run. Let's end it there. And with that, I will end off the stream. This has been very, very good. Very, very good indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed. Three very good runs. I'm basically leaving it there because I'm happy with where, where we are right now. I could probably do one more run, but I'm very happy with where we sit right now. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to go over to the YouTube channel and uh, take a little look at the new Dead God video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. It's a really cool thumbnail that Skull, that Skull did for it. I'm really excited to share that with you and you get to see my genuine first reaction to getting Dead God as well. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next.